All right, here's a quick reminder about multiplication and division. Remember how I told you I am really good with my multiplication facts? So I memorized these. Three groups of four equals 12. But then I just have to remember that division is backwards multiplication. 12 divided by what equals, I just go, hmm, when I'm trying to solve that, blank times four equals 12. Four, eight, 12. The answer is three. Multiplication and division are called inverse operations. You go up, you increase with multiplication, you decrease. They're opposites. They kind of like they're partner. Um, they work against uh, one another. It's just one of those things that it's kind of, you can memorize your multiplication, you're going to have your division facts memorized because they're the same. You actually realize this because you've been creating fact families with addition and subtraction since probably first grade. Addition and subtraction are also inverse operations. Um, so when three groups of four equals 12, well, four groups of three equals 12. The commutative property is alive and well with multiplication as well. To finish this fact family, you're gonna put the biggest number in the front for your division problem, and then make sure you've got your four and your three. You wanna make sure that you have all three numbers in all of the problems. And you also want to make sure that when you're doing your division problem, that that biggest number is being broken down into smaller numbers. So start with your big numbers um, with division. Does that make sense? You're just doing fact families. I'm going to have you um, do a uh, rotation with this where honestly, you're going to be doing creating fact families, and then sometimes I'm going to give you really complicated problems like this. Let's see. Um, and you have to figure out what numbers are missing from the different sections. So two groups of five equals what? Yeah, that'd be 10. Five times what equals 10? That'd be two. What broken into two groups equals five? Well, let's do the inverse operation. Five times two equals 10. 10 divided by five equals what times five equals two? Five, 10. Or sorry, what times five equals 10? That'd be two. So you can go ahead and um, try your rotation where you practice relating um, these fact families.